For most of my life, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. I think it started around middle school, and I was so fascinated by aerospace and this idea of someday having a hotel on the moon. And so I got really involved in that and came to the University of Central Florida to study aerospace engineering. And that's where I did my bachelor's, my master's, and my PhD in aerospace and mechanical engineering. And along the way, I got a little distracted by a different project. And while I was finishing everything up on the aerospace side, I really fell in love with this opportunity to do more of the biomedical engineering aspect. When I was growing up, I actually didn't find myself to be an engineer. I wanted to be a farmer because that's what I grew up doing. So when I went to college, I was a history major and I didn't find it challenging. So I decided to become an engineer. And the company came about because Albert was in his car one day and was listening to the radio. And on there, they were talking about this Enable group that makes mechanical prosthetics for children. So he decided to get involved. He set up a small place inside of his lab in order to help kids. And one day, a mother called the university asking about this person that was trying to do this at the university. They finally got a hold of Albert at some point in time, and she asked, hey, can you make my son an arm? And he went back to his kitchen table, and he got a group of friends together and started making an arm for this child. From that kitchen table, we were working to be able to develop new types of prosthetics and being able to find a different way to approach it in a way that would work better for children with limb differences. And along the way, we had some help from another bionics expert on hand, which was Robert Downey Jr. And he was able to give our very first arm recipient a special Iron Man themed bionic arm. And that really was the, the catalyst to launch us forward. Fast forward a few years later, we were able to turn that side student project into a component of our university to be able to build it into a research program here at UCF so that we could work towards advancing the, the future of next generation prosthetics. Our challenges have changed so many times over the years. In the beginning, we were having trouble with electronics, soldering them together, making sure they worked every time, making sure the device didn't break every time we gave one to a child. Now, our Challenges are biomedical related, and so we're trying to work towards our FDA clearance. One of the most important skills I've been working to develop is really being able to listen. When you're gonna work with all of these different innovators from different disciplines and different backgrounds, knowing how to bring all that information together so it can be synthesized into the final bionic arm has been a, a challenge that has to be embraced in order to be successful in such an interdisciplinary environment. My most important skill here at Limitless Solutions is management, time management, people management, design management, making sure everything comes together as a cohesive unit. We're nine years in and we feel like we're just starting to hit our stride on being able to create next generation accessibility technology. And what I'm really excited for is seeing how that can continue to transform more lives and that new designs are gonna be leaving the lab soon.